Vancouver. Toronto Raptors starting five. Talk to Nick Nurse. There's going to be a lot of rotation here. This starting five is not... Opening tip-off control to everything here early on. Would you no, agree? It's just about getting guys minutes under their belt and playing different combinations of players. And one time, all-star point guard really helps things dramatically. Abaka sends it to Leonard. Leonard now. And Jay, and it's good. Everybody talks. Absolutely. And uh, he has all the tools in a toolkit. And he gives you T on the other end as well, which is so important. And it's a two-pointer. The season that he had last year for the Toronto Raptors. And Leonard to Green. Clock down. The three is good from Field again. The little drawn kick. Leonard to Green. Career 39% three-point shooter. And Aminu with the response. Okay, it's been a trifecta. Leonard in the paint. Step through left hand. And Kawhi Leonard with the finish. Maybe here in this opening quarter. And the Toronto Raptors lead by one. And oh, a back up with the denial. Here's Miles. Offhand. 12 11 with 6.20 remaining on the clock. And some technical issues as Leonard drills a three pointer shot 36% from three last season. And his fourth in scoring. Nearly 27 points a game. Mills connects. Tied at 14 with 5.54 remaining here in this first quarter. And a layup is good. And then even into the regular season, good interior defense by Valanciunas. And then Aminu takes it away from Green. Slicing to the rim is McCullum. And he lays it up. Raptors went with four. One big and four steps. Yes. And JV off of the bench. Up fake now on the drive. And the take with a sweet left hand. One of the top three or four players last year. I mean, he's just a winning player, does everything that you need from a point guard. And big time keeper roster this year than you have in the past. So take advantage of that right now. Nice pass, good passing there. Here's Lowry, corner three. Rack it up. Works for you and your personality and your philosophical belief. And that's every coach. Leonard finds Lowry. Here's Van Vliet with a three. Finishes it off. Turnover. JV taking it to the rim. The big man. Lithuania. DeLon Wright, Pascal Siakam. They've had a lot of minutes invested in them in the last few years. With recovery. And a three-pointer is good for Finish a little bit better through contact. And you add that shoot, extra shooting to this roster, is going to make a big difference. Bench points, 13 for Nick, and then also Brooklyn. Oh, it's funny. Much run. He, said, he goes, there's just a different feeling yeah. playing on this team. I said, yeah, you've played in Sacramento, Philadelphia, and Brooklyn. All teams are playing for the Raptors. Siakam, and then a step through. Active. Stays with it. Perfect set up that time by DeLon Wright. That's a shot that Kyle Lowry will make with consistency. Stauskas, the open look, and it's good. Turner. Curry. Let's it fly. And back-to-back -back threes. Trailblazers last season for the first time ever in the history of the NBA. Outside of the United States, Canada had more players than any other country. So the 2003 draft, LeBron James came out of high school, but then Carmelo Anthony, he left school early after winning the national title as that three players in the U.S. And, and now you've expanded the G exactly. League. Exactly. We've expanded, expanded the G League. We now have a program with USA Basketball and seniors in high school. And we're making them part of the USA Basketball Junior National Team program. We are now bringing our expertise along with the NCAA and the Players Association to engage with this. their best chance of ever getting to the NBA Finals other than that team with Vince in 2001. And you just look at all the kids in Canada right now playing because of what he did and what the Raptors are doing currently. That's right. And, and Nash. I mean, Nash is the first.
There's no question. Raptors lead by five here over the Portland Trailblazers in the first game of the preseason for both teams. And on the offensive, well, we appreciate you taking the time to join us. As Baldwin looks in the corner, here's a three-point corner shot that is good. And now a 17 from three-point range. You know that they'll be better than that. Raptors, five for 20. Last year, one of the top teams in the league. And a chance of their shot attempts were three-pointers. And they want to go over that this season, Jack. Well, I think they're going to need to because I don't think they're as good a defensive team. So they're going to have to beat even higher scoring games than they have. There's Fred Van Vliet, the move right there on the baseline. And for Wichita State, all the success they had. The number one team in college basketball going to the Final Four. Nurk is his foul by Valley. Speaking with Nick Nurse about his offense. And he's been running this offense for 10 years as Norman Powell knocks down. He said to evolve. They only have percent of the offense in. They only have 40% of the defense in at this point as Nurkic knocks it down. But he said it will continue to evolve throughout the course of the season as they take a look at a lot of different actions. And Valanciunas with the three-pointer, the rebound, the drive, the foul, and the finish! And Little Rebound, Fred Van Vliet. Here's Pascal Siakam. Van Vliet. Good. You know, and see, I have a solid routine in terms of travel. There you go. Good. And it's good. We're going to catch that, but from a coaching perspective, you love the video because that's how you teach. Most of these guys are what they he was all, able to do in the postseason the year before. And the denial by the length of DeLon Wright. Siakam to the trailing Fred Van. Great things that Nick Nurse has been able to do is obviously bring those people that have been so influential to him. Uh, Nick had his high school coach a part of the practices. He was on the floor. 7-0 run going back to the third by the Portland Trailblazers. Angel Brown checking in. What a crafty move. Take on the Raptors and Phoenix, Utah. Phoenix again at home right after the Utah home game. And then Sacramento. Count it. He was formerly with San Antonio as a video coordinator. Uh, now on the staff as well. And then Patrick Matumbo. And then the community work, you know, obviously giving back. And they're a big part of not only the community and the GTA and Father Brown to Monroe on a handoff back over to Brown with Jay, and it's good. 103 91 with 615 left here in the fourth quarter, first preseason game. Expectations certainly high for the Toronto. but changes, and it's going to take some time to figure out all those things. As Brown's three pointer is good, well, you know, give him credit. Uh, last year, he's that, earned this opportunity. He has 28 years of age in his fifth year in the NBA. Here's Malachi Richardson. And Malachi Richardson. That's what it is. <laughs> it's always great being here in Vancouver. Nice runner by Gary yeah, Trent Jr. On red eye. John, our oh man, John, uh, in audio, yes. just got John engaged. Hunter, yeah. He just got engaged, so congratulations to him. Now we just get the show. Oh, one so congratulations to my man, John. 101. Another one bites the dust. And on the, and the same. For Terry Stotts and his staff, and, and his Portland Trailblazer team. Eric Moreland on the court. Here's Brown. Nice pass. And the Kate Felder lays it up and in. The Raptors cross the timeline, and they're going to dribble it out. Toronto Raptors with fans getting on their feet here in Vancouver. And the appreciation for the NBA. Here in this spectacular city, the Raptors and the Portland Trailblazers, 122 